Hello everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. I'm just getting ready to leave the house. It's just gone 2 p.m. and I it's very exciting today actually because Jas is back from Manchester and he's gonna be home early. And then my grandparents are back and I'm picking them up from the airport. I was supposed to leave in about an hour, but somehow Jas managed to get on an earlier train from Manchester back to London. And so he's gone straight to my uncle's house or the Starbucks near my uncle's house. So I'm gonna go meet him there and then I'm gonna go pick up my grand's car from my uncle's house and then go to the airport with Jas. I thought I was gonna go on my own and pick my grandparents up, which is very exciting. And then what's even more exciting is my uncle and aunt have invited us around for dinner um, because when we get back from the airport, it'll be about dinner time and they're making jacket potato again, which I'm so excited for. Like it's just like my ultimate like winter meal. I just love it so much. And I feel like all I've been eating this week is like salad because it's like post holiday and I've been home alone and like I just hate cooking for one. Yesterday, I mean, don't judge me, but I bought super noodles because my cousin who's at uni and my sister keep talking about like food that she used to eat at uni and my cousin was like giving me some ideas and they kept mentioning super noodles. And I was like, oh my God, I haven't had them for ages. So I literally, made super noodles but I like roasted some like garlic broccoli and um crispy tofu to add into it otherwise it's not really a substantial meal but oh my god it was so good I actually roasted like whole cloves of garlic and then when you like take them out of the oven you can just squish them out so they just pop out of the skins and oh it is so good uh not great if you're like gonna go on a date or be kissing people obviously but I was home alone so it was fine and it was just such a nice meal but I'm really looking forward to jacket potato again today but more than that I'm looking forward to seeing my grandparents and seeing Jas so yeah it's very exciting I've just done a couple of trips to the car because I have all the stuff that I bought back for my gran to take back for her and I was just waiting for tonight's video to save which it has so I'm gonna pack up my laptop and make a move so that I'm not late and yeah I'll take you with me to the airport it's so exciting I love airports so much but it's obviously really sad when you're not flying somewhere but whatever oh yeah the other day on Monday Jas and I bought advent calendars and they only had like they didn't have much choice in Sainsbury's I've already opened day number one but I thought I'd wait for Jas just because I was craving chocolate the other day that's his obviously he's been taking it to Manchester every week but I've still got quite a few more chocolates to catch up on which I will save for later this evening or this weekend very very exciting indeed <laughs> oh yeah Jas is back and he got a Starbucks. Whoop, whoop. I've picked up my first passenger of the day. Hey, everyone. Woohoo! Hey. One down, two to go. And <laughs> this one even brought me a Starbucks. Although, you're confused as to which coffee belongs to who, right? Uh, no, you think we're fine. Yours what are what coffee it. did you order? Vanilla. Ugh, no. I hate vanilla and caramel. Let's Those see. are the two that he always orders. It smells like mine. Oh, I'm so excited for Starbucks. Mm. Anyway, I'm going to be late, so let me go pick up my next two passengers. <laughs> this is like a day of Nishi being an Uber driver. <laughs> Airports is so much fun, but we're not flying anywhere, so it's not that much fun. We're here. My gran hasn't called me yet. They should have landed 45 minutes ago. Um, so hopefully like, we'll get there just as they're coming through arrivals. And we have to pay too much for parking. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Anish, are you excited? Huh? Excited to meet your grandparents? Yeah, I am. Um, <laughs> their flight was delayed, so I can see people getting off the same Oh, yeah? I can see people getting off the same flight. I think they take the wheelchairs off last. If they cock it up like they did last time and make them walk, I'm going to go ballistic. Because yeah. that's what happened when they came up from India. Like, No. 
God. <laughs> yes. Yes, boys. Yes, Anusha is so naughty. I'm not saying 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 I'm not
this is another pair of boots that I ordered. You guys will have seen these. I said, like, like I said, if you follow me on Instagram, oh, I don't know whether to keep these. I'm in like another dilemma. I'm not gonna try these on because I've already tried them on before. I'm gonna put these on first and see what I think. <laughs> This is a total no. I sized up in this dress. It's like a wrap over, but it's far too small. I mean, it said it was midi. Excuse my really dry knees. I've got like one of the boots on. They are, I mean, they don't seem like they have a ton of support, but they're comfortable enough. But I mean, <laughs> it's a bit short for what I'd wear. It does have a belt, by the way. But I mean, there's nothing to like secure. I don't know how to show you. So I've got a vest top on as well, so could you imagine if I didn't have this top on, this would all be like gaping. <laughs> and there's nothing really to secure this bit to this side, apart from the waist tie. There's like no way in hell I'm keeping this dress. I actually really like it. I don't normally like when sequins are all along the back because my hair just gets stuck in them and then, you know, I just end up making them really loose. But apart from like the dodgy fit of this dress, which I sort of knew might be an issue when I bought it. I really like it because it's actually navy and the sequins aren't tacky. Like, it's actually quite a pretty dress, but you would definitely have to size up twice. I sized it up once and that clearly didn't work. But, so, yeah, that's a little bit annoying. And actually, the next one I bought in my size, I think, or possibly a size down. So, I don't have high hopes for that one either. I don't have anything on, on the bottom, so I don't want to show you, like my legs and my underwear <laughs> but actually this would work really nice as a duster coat if it didn't have this like weird string to tie it with um it just doesn't work for me as a dress unfortunately oh my god <laughs> okay don't say anything this i'm obviously like what is this to be honest i think i think the actual sequins look better in person than they did online which says a lot I don't know what I was thinking honestly this dress was actually pretty cheap in the sale I like the fact that there's no sequins on the back because then my hair doesn't really get stuck although I have a habit of like pulling my hair forward to these bits all get stuck to sequins again it's very low cut like if I wasn't wearing this top what the hell this dress is a little bit better because it's again it's a wrap over dress but this bit that wraps on the inside has a button it's a bit awkward to get to so I had to get just to help me like fasten the button it's all the way over here so it isn't like as gapey it's a better fit considering this is actually my size I'm kind of in between sizes so this is kind of like my size slash half a size down it's a much better fit than the other one I just don't like it oh if the other one actually fit and it was longer I'd consider keeping it even though I have nowhere to wear it. It's just a nicer dress. This is far too in your face. And the trim, if you can like if it focuses, is all velvet and the inside like is all velvet as well. So it keeps you warm, but right now I'm sweating away. Like it's this shape does nothing for me because it's like straight down, it's like a pencil skirt. I need a line that is what works for me and again these boots, do you see what I mean? They just make me look really short because you don't really see much leg. So yeah. This is another fail. Hey, okay, I've put the jacket on and, oh my God, this is terrible. First of all, I mean, if you have boobs, it's nothing's gonna happen, but this, these sleeves, seriously, like, oh, can I even show you? They're just a bit 70s and they don't really suit me. I feel like I'm about to present some sort of like really tacky, TV show from the 80s. These silver sequins are far too silver. Um, they just look really cheap and nasty. I'm definitely not keeping this. It's just a shame because I love blazers. Obviously they don't keep you warm or anything but like a nice black or like a muted silver one would have been quite nice for this time of year to make stuff a bit dressier but yeah such is life. Um, this is just awful. My little cousin has like leggings that have like flares on the bottom and they look really cool on her. I'm not cool enough to pull this off. I just don't think it looks very nice either. There we go that's better. Look at it. It's just awful isn't it so yeah that was a fail i'm probably not going to keep the gold boots either i'm sorry for zooming you into my boobs but i have nothing on on the bottom so i can't really show you so yeah the moral of the story is don't place an asos order when you're drunk kids
there we go right so i'm not keeping any of those clothes i'm not keeping the black boots i mean they're okay but i know i'm not going to wear them they're just a little bit too high for me and they don't feel like they have like enough support like the only time i really wear heels is with boots because they're easier to walk in but those are not really and i don't like them enough to keep them the gold ones i probably send back to so that was a bit of a fail now i'm going to go take my makeup off i've just put like loads of laundry on because just just got back from manchester and we're going to be packing because i'm off again somewhere in the next couple of days so while i wait for that i'm gonna maybe watch like a cheesy christmas film on netflix tomorrow i'm not sure if i am gonna vlog actually because it's actually mine and jess's first proper day at home together since kenya because obviously we landed on sunday we had like what a couple of hours and then he was working from home the following day and then obviously he's been away in Manchester so we've just got loads of like errands to run I've missed a parcel today which is being delivered tomorrow but we're out all morning so I don't know how that's going to work and then there's a few bits that we ordered like Christmas presents and we did click and collect so I have to go and collect them because they were ready a few days ago but I just haven't had time and so yeah we've just got like loads of like little boring things to do that isn't really vloggable so i will see but if not i'll be back soon with another vlogmas video so yeah i really hope you enjoyed watching this one if you did then please give it a big thumbs up thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye